Did you know if you drop a like and subscribe in the next 5 seconds, nothing will happen but it will put a giant smile on my face. It's official, the final update of Chapter 3 Season 2 is here, and not only that, but it surprised everyone. Of course, despite the obvious map change of the Collider playing a big part in the build-up to a live event, which is now confirmed, which even the developers are saying we're not ready for. Alongside the fact this was anticipated to be implemented today, what if I told you there's so many more surprises that you don't know about to do with this leaked live event, such as not only the Mecha Team Leader Giant Robot returning, us piloting it and actually controlling it to fend off the imagined order, the Paradigm returning in a form we've never seen her in, is secret lobby event, tons more voice recordings pointing toward what's going to be happening and honestly just so much more. If you don't stick around until the end of today's video, that's an L for you and you don't want Peely dancing on you like this. For real though, this is going to be jam packed full of new juicy intel that's been just revealed in the 20.40 update. In return for providing all this information for 100% free, one favour I ask of you guys, literally everyone watching right now, which is also free for you to do and takes two seconds, is enter code FM1 inside the Fortnite item shop. You guys already know this not only puts a giant smile on my face, but cheers up my pug Gus too, who's been kind of sad about the fact he knows that 70% of all eyes watching right now are not subscribed. With that said, hit the big red button right now as we're on our final push to 2.5 million or 2.5 million subscribers and after all it only benefits you as I do give different subscribers every single day. So if you ever want to receive something simply make sure you subscribe to the channel with all notifications turned on and then comment your Epic Games ID down below and let me know what you'd like to receive so perhaps you could be gifted like this on screen in front of hundreds of thousands of eyes to see in the next video. But with that said now enough time has been wasted already we need to dive into to all of these live event details and how this season's going to be ending so make sure of course you don't go anywhere. Don't go anywhere. Not, I'm sitting on my don't back. go anywhere. So first of all I just want to point out rewinding the clock slightly for when this was leaked to do with the Order skin which was the last member of the Seven or the other sister despite just the Imagine that has been added into Fortnite recently. This hologram we now know to be well the collider that they've constructed literally on the outskirts of Loot Lake and speaking of this construction occurring right here despite it being a new IO base of operation that they do have control over alongside Side Command Cavern. With this being the final stage of the fight between the Imagined Order and the Seven, obviously with the Seven pushing them back to, well, these two locations. Even though we knew before the 20.40 update due to voice recordings that some sort of doomsday device was going to be constructed underneath or near Loot Lake or even on it, what we didn't anticipate when loading in was for the structure to be this enormous and not only that, be draining up the water from the single streams going around the map for the water system around it. As you can see right here, this stream has dried up or even the the collider has soaked up the water to perhaps even use it as energy. Across the coming days, if not weeks now, that's left of Season 2 until June 3rd when Season 3 officially releases, after downtime obviously lifts for this. I'm guessing we're going to be seeing at least some smaller map changes such as other streams drying up too, with the effects of the collider being erected in the middle of the map. But on top of that too, what data miners of course have managed to find, which also confirms yes, a live event will be happening not only this season, but to end it off directly going into what seems to be, as they've also discovered an extended downtime time is the event timer which not only will be in the lobby looking like this, obviously counting down to the final moments of the season before, well, it ends and goes into downtime, but considering the collider is literally the focal point of the island, the middle of the map, or the middle or centre point focus of the event anyways, it will appear above this. And just before we get into the even crazier details of gameplay sequences, voice notes and everything revealed to do with what's going to be happening during the event between the Imagined Order and the Seven, quickly reflecting back on our previous Doomsday Device live event, of course we know that the Doomsday device came out of the ground and was using energy off the zero point as the zero point was directly underneath this on our Chapter 2 island revealed in the Galactus Live event. With that said and with us knowing that the IO have built a Doomsday device and the Collider is that but a new and improved version, does that mean far down under the ground underneath this is this where the location of the zero point resides in this chapter? And despite the development of perhaps more lakes drying up and small teasers around the island pointing toward the live event occurring, perhaps even the countdown time as are shown on the TVs, not just at the Collider. As the days pass, kind of like the Zero Point becoming more destabilised in Chapter 1 Season 9, as we entered Season X or got closer, it pulsated more and more vigorously or violently, and apparently that's what's going to be happening with the Doomsday Device or the Collider, again at the centre point of our map. Of course, to complement the map changes and small things that will be occurring or adjusted on the lead up to the live event, it's obviously needing to be made sense of through the voice recordings and the resistance quests that we get to complete to be a part of the storyline, so it seems. For those that don't know, 
know week 8 or the last week before 20.40 we had to equip this backpack and go around the Loot Lake area to scan fluctuating energy surges coming out of the ground which largely resemble the initial Doomsday device from Chapter 2 Season 2 that Midas constructed and now with the new week 9 quest being live alongside the voices of not only Jones but the origin that play for completing them or taking part in them let's just say as I'm about to play the most important parts of these voice lines by the origin and Jones right now that this live event is definitely going to be one of the biggest ones yet. I'll have you know I spent the better part of the day trying to heal this schism between Paradigm and the Seven. Long story short, the Seven is recommissioning the mech and we don't know if Paradigm will pilot it. So, there. If she refuses to help, we'll still need a pilot. And you've proven your loyalty to all of us. You heard it right there, the Paradigm is not only set to return, or the Seven have finally come to an agreement that we do need her to end this war between the Imagined Order and the Seven. And of course, the reason for her return is to reconstruct what she built in Chapter 1 Season 9, being a Mecha Team Leader robot that fought off initially the Polar Pink Monster that slayed it. Of course, with the origin, as you also heard, anticipating that Paradigm will not want to control the Mecha Team Leader. This being down to the fact the last time she did as the form of Singularity, as we now know and have it confirmed that these two are the same character. Characters. Despite her defeating the Polar Peak Monster as previously mentioned, she then left the Zero Point above the Vault in Chapter 1 which destabilised and caused, well, everything to happen that's unfolded since. This, for those that don't know, is why the Seven were mad at her, or some of the members anyways, as she simply fled and left it here after the event itself of the final showdown. And with that being the case, we face now with the manufactured Mecha Team Leader Giant. Of course, all implication is pointing toward us being involved controlling it during the event, which implies one of the biggest events yet in terms of not only cinematic, that are shown but our involvement. Fun fact too, we always knew this ripped off arm was for something, you know, the Mecha Team Leader arm that was ripped off in the final showdown of Chapter 1 Season 9 referenced, again, this is in the outskirt ocean of our Chapter 3 island. Speaking of the Mecha Team Leader robot returning and it being involved in this exact live event, of course, outside of the game itself, something kind of confirming it's upcoming is this short teaser trailer Fortnite uploaded to Twitter that's around 10 seconds long, so let's roll that clip. Of course, the tease for this was at the end of the trailer with this face or hologram representing the Mecha Team Leader robot itself. And speaking of this symbol, hologram or logo, Egyptian Leaker had this to tweet out from digging into the files and finding out things to do with the actual live event, who's going to be talking and what's going to be happening live. Season 2 event spoilers, characters that have dialogues in the live event will be Paradigm, Origin, Foundation, Sloan and the computer. The computer is most likely something like the Chapter 2 Season 8 event where there was sound saying rotation at 30 degrees, if you remember. One of the most interesting things about the Paradigm returning as well, considering she will also have voice lines confirmed right here in this event, is that she has a brand new form that we've never seen before that got leaked today, being this version of her outfit. It literally gets even crazier, however, as other data miners have came out, basically telling us what's going to be going down in terms of gameplay sequences, and the moon even being involved, yes, you heard that right, in this live event. As you can see, PQ tweeted out the following, first and foremost, one of, I believe, four tweets. Event spoilers, thread, here is all the info I know about the event and I was able to find. We'll be fighting and destroying unspecified yet things, most likely just like we fought caretakers during the end event V2 for chapter 2 ending that off, something will happen with the moon during the event, there will be a moon pod which we will be able to enter and exit, some kind of weapon swap will happen during the event, maybe between us and IO, there will be some unload waves probably from the doomsday device, we should be able to control some kind of missile and laser, maybe perhaps even of the mecha team leader, the event will have 6 phases in total, we should be seeing the zero point during the event, though the shortcut ZP in the coding might mean something else else, the rock statue should be completely destroyed during the event, mentions of rock destroyed in the coding, and we or the IO will have access to tanks which doesn't seem too abnormal. Here's the final tweet of this thread, there should be some IO drills drilling during the event, at some point our player should be hidden for some reason, this low quality version of the map got added to the files and its size is very very big, maybe we'll see it when we're on the moon, if that happens even? Of course that would make sense if we were on the moon staring down at it and perhaps this is where people speculate that the mecha team leader went to initially after the events of the final showdown where Singularity, man in it or the Paradigm, the same person, flew into the sky and we never saw them again. And last but not least to mention, despite this time last chapter us having live event developments in the lobby of these pipes going around not only the lobby itself with the countdown timer but our battle pass tab with these different rooms showing the doomsday device that Midas had constructed even. Even though we don't have a battle pass menu like that this season, we are going to be seeing some lobby animations which look like this first and foremost that data miners have been able to find when we're 
are queuing up for the Doomsday Live event in itself, as if we're entering battle down a tube, you know, like superheroes did in the secret lairs. Here's a raw version without me talking with also the sounds played that you guys will find very interesting. And with all of that shown, with this perhaps being the biggest interactive live event so far, even more so than Galactus when we fought as a community to defeat him, let me know if you're excited for this event and will be attending by leaving a like on today's video and subscribe to the channel right now with all notifications turned on so that you don't miss any future updates on it. Speaking of other videos, however, or your next destination, make sure to interact with anything on screen now, I don't mind, but most importantly, hopefully I can catch you in that very next video I do post on the channel.